Hello Truth Seekers and welcome back to our channel where we unveil the shocking truth beyond the glamorous world of Prince Harry and Meghan Markle. Ladies and gentlemen, brace yourselves for an expose that has sent shockwaves through the fanatical fandom of Meghan Markle, the self-proclaimed victim of the royal saga. In a recent live show, popular comedian Simon Brodkin unleashed a barrage of scathing jokes aimed squarely at the Duchess of Sussex and her ever-accompanying puppet, Prince Harry. The result? Meghan Markle, the erstwhile Hollywood star, was reduced to nothing more than a clown on live television. But but before we move on to any further details, I would love to thank you all for your enormous love and support, and in case you haven't subscribed to my channel, what are you guys waiting for? Hit that subscribe button now, and don't forget to press the bell icon. Perfect, so let's get started. So let me be clear. I'm not here to endorse hate or harm. However, I am here to dissect the aftermath of Simon Brodkin's comedic onslaught and explore the reactions of Meghan's fervent fanbase. It seems that even the mention of a comedian daring to poke fun at the royal darlings has triggered a tsunami of fury among the self-appointed defenders of the Sussex dynasty. In the video, Simon Brodkin begins by sharing his evolving views on the couple from an initial desire to like them to the ultimate revelation that by the end he found himself rooting for Prince Andrew. The comedic jabs didn't stop there, with Brodkin highlighting the cringeworthy quote from Prince Harry about the particular date with Meghan as the night they pulled the pin on the fun grenade. The audience, undoubtedly there for a good laugh, found themselves witnesses to the transformation of Meghan Markle from a Hollywood star to a punchline. Cue the outrage. Megan's loyal fans, who appear to take any criticism of their idol as a personal affront, flooded social media with their discontent. One fan lamented, you know the hate they get is causing Megan to get death threats. Why add to all that? All the people in the world you could make the butt of your jokes, but you choose cheap jokes about Harry and Megan. Another bewildering fan questioned the very essence of the jokes, stating, I don't even get the jokes. All I know is to put Andrew in the same sentence as H&M is cheap. The fervor and sanctimonious defense of Meghan Markle raised intriguing questions about the state of celebrity worship and the echo chamber that surrounds the couple. Are they beyond reproach? Is there any form of humor or critique that is acceptable as an attack on their character? The reaction suggests an intolerance for any narrative that doesn't align with a carefully crafted image of Meghan as the perpetual victim and Harry as the devoted sidekick. As the outrage rages on social media, it leaves us pondering the future of the Sussex duo in 2024. Will they continue to be shielded from any form of criticism, or will the cracks in their carefully constructed facade become too apparent to ignore? Only time will tell, but one thing is certain, the royal drama is far from over, and the comedic interludes are just another chapter in the ongoing saga of Harry and Meghan's quest for public adoration. So what do you think about this news, guys? Please share your thoughts in the comments below and let me know what you think. Until then, stay tuned for more shocking stories and scandalous exposés on our YouTube channel. Remember to like, share, and subscribe to stay updated on the latest from the world of the royal family. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again with some more fascinating news about the royal family. Bye for now.